Wedding videos for as low as 100,000 Naira? Gusto got you covered. Call 08061344639 or 08064406274. Terms and conditions apply. Everyone, welcome to another amazing session of Gusto Reaction on Gusto TV Africa. My name is Emma. And my guest for today, I have John Ifeski. Nice. All right, guys, before moving on, I'll say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for always sharing, always liking, and always, always commenting. And if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, please do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so as to know when we drop new content and new videos yeah, yeah. for you. Now we have Buju to talk about. Now, looking at Buju, um, he's run over the years, talk about 2020, talk about 2021. Do you think, um, Buju has actually had like a good year this year. Well, the year is still fresh. Um, a lot of artists are still in the process of um, you know, trying to get their stuff together and all of that. So, um, look, if like from from the records, beginning of the year is always like a bit cool and calm for artists. Just one or two artists, like one or two major artists, dropping songs here and there. But from the third month, which is March. Then the the race begins. Let me use that word because um, artists starts like getting in the space, dropping songs, getting involved in collaborations and all of that. So I wouldn't say um, it had a bad run for the year. Mm. It just had like a, a normal um, run um, that artists do have in the beginning of the year. Okay, right. So would you give us an input titled "Sorry I Am Late"? What's your take on the EP? Uh, the EP is not bad. Sorry I'm late. Add dancing. Add kilometer. Add Oge Chuko with the Caveman, which is like my favorite, mm. and a couple of other songs. The EP is actually not bad. Um, it, it shows um, Buju's versatility and his delivery on, on, on his songs, which is not a bad one at all. All right, so um, we all know that he changed his name from Buju to Benson. Do you know I'm still calling him Buju? It's going to take a, like a long yeah, time it, to it, get it's Buju taking off. A while. Yeah. It's taking a while, but then it changes as Apun, it changes Instagram handles. Yeah. Um, there's Benson, BNXN yeah. on Twitter. But his Instagram, I don't think he could get that. So he's using to your ears. He removed the buju Would from you? that. And then there was a time a video went viral um recently. I can't remember who was in the video, but then the guy was saying that okay, there's a certain buju in Africa, but then the only buju we know is buju bouncing. Okay. Another that buju um is, is counterfeit or something. And people were like, okay, could this be the reason why buju, buju decided to change his, his name? name and all that. But then like that was, I don't know if that was a recent video or a new video, but then like it went viral as, as, as at the time Buju said he changed his name. So just maybe that could be the reason or he has any other reason why he changed his name. He is yet to say what and what led to the name change. But right now, it seems BNXN is yet to stay. BNXN. All right. So on the Sorry I Am Late EP, Buju gave us Kilometer. Have you listened to the song? When I day on speed moja Kilometer. I don't play a job. Oh, me da. Kilo, kilo, kilo. That's how the song goes. <laughs> really? So, was it a hit? Uh, the song is not. It's, it's a dope song. It's a dope song. It, it has the potential of becoming a hit. Because uh, when songs are dropped on uh, are dropped on projects, they are left to do on their own. And then they now start picking the songs one after the other to release them as singles. Mm -hmm. And for Buju, the next song for him to push is Kilometer. And it has the element. It has the... It has... The viral element to fly. So I think it's it's gonna eat it when it drops. Yeah. So this is actually um, Zinoliski sending Buju a voice note on yeah. the um, remix. The Buju Benson this Friday, this next week, kilometer remix. Buju <laughs> Benson, baby, they bet. So this is also Zinoliski playing the kilometer remix on his life. When, when this one drops, and then I heard I heard the the, the snippet from Zinoliski like oh it was it, was, it went viral at that point, and then. The comparison of okay, Zinoliski is actually better than Buju style happening, and Buju Benson style blocking people on mm, Twitter mm. because they were saying that okay, Zino actually killed that 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 verse. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what happened, but then it must have been an argument between both parties that okay, you can actually sample the song if you want, and then he sampled it on his live, and it was really really like if you listen to like okay, this is like actually a dope one, mm -hmm. and looks like Zino would actually like finish it when it drops. Mm -hmm. We know that Kilometer is actually an Amapiano song, and yeah. we know that Zinoliski also is actually very good at Amapiano. Mm -hmm. Talk, look, let's take a look at um, the song Rocking, Rocking that actually dropped. Yeah. It was all Amapiano vibes. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. Buju actually came out to tweet saying, Zino free Kilometer this week loud. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you actually think these guys will 
give to us like bringing a buju and bringing zinuliski together on a song and we've heard a snippet of what the remix is going to sound like but it wasn't complete so mm. i really cannot wait to hear the full version of zinuliski part on that song um like it's sounding so interesting already and for me it sounded like an instant banger because Kilometer on his own is one of my favorites on that on that on that EP when it dropped because it is catchy, like it is groovy. You just hear it and then you start having the feel good vibe. Yeah, that, that's what the song gives you. So this remix dropping uh, definitely would uh, further push the song. Would also uh, announce Buju's are like okay, I don't arrive this 2022. Mm. They start giving us back to back. Even though he's had a couple of features, he was on um, Basket Mouth album. Mm -hmm. it was also on the song. Um, Reminis dropped recently also which he did not do badly on but this is like his first official single of the year and I think that he's gonna ace it I expect crazy crazy banger on that one Alright now looking at what he did with um, Timaya Code Outside and looking at this remix he's going to have with Zinoliski what are you expecting? Are you expecting this particular project to actually supersede what he did with Timaya? Uh, well he's had a couple of great collaborations so you really cannot even say oh, the one with Maya is the best because there's a certain confidence. He similarly made the song go viral. There's a certain um, feeling with Ladipo. And then there's Code Outside coupled with other collaborations he had. I cannot even remember right. There's Mood also with Whiskey. Yeah. So I can we cannot like categorically say that okay, the one with Maya is like the best collaboration is that nah, I don't think so. Is that like a couple of other really, really dope collaborations? Uh the one with Zinolisky coming soon, um Kilometer Remix. It's gonna be actually dope like it's gonna be really really mad once once it drops um definitely expect nothing more than pure fire and then it's matching up to the previous um collaborations we've had with um, other artists all right guys we've come to the end of today's section on gusto reaction tell us what you think in the comment section and tell us what you're expecting from a Zineliski and benson collaboration and yes yes will so be in the comment section you know responding to some of your comments if not all do not forget to keep liking, do not forget to keep sharing, and do not forget to keep commenting. And if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so as to know when we drop new content and new videos for you. Bye for now. My name is Imam.